What is up, flamethrowers? It is me, Flame the Dragon Hog, here. And welcome to another installment of Flame's Sonic Ship Discussions. This is episode three, and I do apologize for not making one in a very, very long time. It's just that there's a lot of Sonic ships out there, and it's really hard to keep track of them all. So, it took me a little break, but now I'm back doing them. So, for today, I'm going to be doing my very first ever female Sonic ship discussion. And, of course, to, and of course, to kick it off, I am going to start with the ever-so-famous leader of the Freedom Fighters. She's attractive, she's pretty, and, of course, she's one of my exes. But, anyway, please say hello, but please, it is... Sally Acorn, that's right guys, I'm pretty sure everybody's trying to get inside Sally's non-existent pants. Because think about it, Sally Acorn was the very first ever, um, you know, Sonic girl to ever not wear pants. I mean, to ever not wear, like, normal clothes. Because normally, because in the Satayam, um, she's gone through two different redesigns. The first one, she was normally wearing boots. And in the second season, she wore boots and that new blue vest. Okay, but anyway, enough with that. Today, I'm going to be talking about some of the ships that people have done with her. Because just like Rouge, everybody's trying to ship her with people. So yeah, today I'm going to be counting down some of the uh, ships that a lot of you guys have. I've done my research on some of them. And so, I just thought maybe it will be kind of interesting. So guys... At the end of this video, let me know in the comments section which one of these Sally ships do you guys support the most. And I'm going to tell you guys which ships do I support the most. So, yeah. Anyway, without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so the first Sally ship we have here is... Sonic X Sally, or Sun Alley. Now, this definitely classifies as an ever-so-famous Sally ship because obviously everybody and I repeat everybody's always been talking about saying how Sonic and Sally they do make a really cute couple and I'm not gonna lie they do make a cute couple although Sally she can be a little bit too controlling when it comes to Sonic you know always telling him what to do always telling him to lighten up and take things seriously but hey, guys, at the end of the day, we all know that even though that Sally can be a little bit strict towards Sonic, she actually does care about him. She actually does care. I mean, come on, guys. We all saw in the Satayam how strict and stuff Sally was, but at the end of the day, she is really nice to him. She's really nice to him. She admires him. <laughs> If you guys, hey guys, I have an idea. Go back and watch the whole entire season of the Satayam Sonic the Hedgehog series and count how many Sun Alley moments are there. Speaking of Sun Alley, this ship, uh, this ship was definitely really famous because Sally and Sonic, they known each other ever since they were kids. And then they grew up to being best friends, to practically lovers and then later on in the comics they got married became the king and queen of mobius and lots of other things so yeah do but the big question is do i support sun alley well there are some ups and downs in it there's some ups and downs in sun alley but at the end of the day i never thought i'd say this but yes i do support this ship but i'm not supporting it but i'm not supporting it mostly I'm more of a Sun Amy fan, okay? I'm more of a Sun Amy fan, but hey, everybody is entitled to support what ship they want without no repercussions or any complaints. So, yeah. Anyway, that's it for Sun Alley. So, the next ship we have here is, yeah, our first Lesbo ship, Sally and Amy. Now, these two... Now, guys, I'm sure everybody is aware of the Sun Amy versus Sun Alley war. I mean, there's this whole thing going on saying that Sonic is better with Amy or Sally is better with Sonic and all that other stuff. But frankly, guys, come on, it doesn't really matter. But when it comes to this, I honestly highly doubt that Sally 
and Amy would get together because I really don't support this ship. I don't support it. And here's why. Even though that Sally, she's a whole lot older than Amy and sometimes in the fan fictions, Sally, she can be, I don't know, really mean towards Amy. She can be really mean towards Amy in the fan fictions. But that's just how people sometimes write her in the stories or the fan fictions. They make Sally the bad guy or they make Amy the bad guy. That's just the people's opinion on, you know, the ships and stuff. But anyway, um, would they ever get together romantically? No, they wouldn't. I mean, come on. Even, I mean, come on. We all know for a fact that the, I mean, we all know for a fact that the one person that they absolutely would fall for is definitely Sonic. I mean, come on. Think about it. And plus, I got a feeling people did put them together just to end this whole Sun Alley versus Sun Amy war. Some people may have done this just to end it. I don't know, maybe. Because don't because I talked about this before in a later video. Um, some people seem to ship all three people. Some people seem to ship all three. Um, Sally, Sonic, and Amy. Just to make everybody happy. And they called that ship um, Sun Sal Amy. So, yeah. And do I support that ship? Yes, I absolutely do. The reason why is because I just want everybody to be happy. No matter if it's, no matter if it's, um, you know, girls fighting over a guy or guys fighting over a girl. I just want everybody to be happy. So, do I support Sun Sal Amy? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Absolutely, I do. Like I said, I just want everybody to be happy. But as for this ship, um, Sally and Amy, no, I don't think so. I really don't think so because I really, really don't think, um, because the reason why is because... Sally and Amy, those two, they're pretty much like, they're pretty much almost like sisters or teammates or something, almost. So, yeah, do I support them? Absolutely not. I don't. Besides, I'm not really into the uh, lesbian ships. I really am not into that. But if you guys are into it, hey, that's good for you. I'm not, okay? Even though I do have a little bit of the powers of the... Uh, goddesses of lesbo love i am not interested in that okay plus i'm married but anyway anyway let's continue on with this okay so next up we have sally and shadow hmm sally and shadow well i don't really see them as a couple because think about it like this sure so sure Shadow, he is really eager to get some of his work done, just like with Sally. But here's the thing, just like with Amy, why in the world would someone as nice as Sally would go for someone as dark and edgy as Shadow? I mean, come on, he practically almost blew up the earth. He almost killed everybody. All for what? All because Maria died on the hands of humans. But... If that's all water underneath the bridge. Plus, the reason why people probably ship them is because maybe it's because, um, Sally, she tends to understand Shadow. You see, the whole point of Sally is that she, her job is to understand people, understand their feelings and all sorts of other things, and see if they can work out a solution. But with Shadow here, you're definitely going to need a long time trying to solve his problems. But would I consider seeing them as a couple? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. No way, no how, uh-uh, new. No. New, no. uh-uh, new. No. Because newsflash, Sally, she's too nice. She is too nice. Plus, not to mention, I don't think she's interested in bad boys. I really don't think she's interested in bad boys. And everybody knows that Shadow is the baddest boy out there. Ugh. Okay, so anyway, do I support this ship? No, I don't. I don't support it at all. I really don't. I think it's stupid. But if you guys support it, good for you. Because I don't, I, don't I don't see them as a couple. I see them as good friends or maybe partners in fighting and stuff, but... As a couple? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay, so anyway, the next Sally ship we have here is Sally and Silver. Okay, 
Now, honestly, in the comics, guys, we know for a fact that Silver and Sally, they are really good friends. They're really good friends, even though they hardly ever speak. They hardly ever speak, but they are really good friends. And whenever Sonic, oh, I mean, or whenever Sally or whenever, you know, any of the other Freedom Fighters need help, you know Silver is probably going to be there. I mean, come on. He's a really kind-hearted person. I mean, come on. He's a kind-hearted person. It doesn't really matter. I mean, come on. They're really, I mean, come on. They are really, really good friends. But would I see them as a couple, maybe? I don't know. I mean, think about it. I mean, Silver, he's from the future. Well, you know, um, Sally, she's from the present time. She's from the present time. And also, I know that Silver does kind of have a thing for, you know, for, you know, royalty. Because, you know, he's with Blaze and stuff. But, um... But would I see, um, Silver and Sally together? I honestly don't know. Even though they barely interact with each other. They do work together. They do have a great relationship. I mean, friendship, sorry. But I don't think they don't... But I don't think they would be... A really good couple. I really don't know. I really don't. Okay, well, anyway, moving on to the next one. Okay, so moving on to the next Sally ship, which is Sally and Bunny. Sally and Bunny Rabot. Okay, now I get why people seem to ship them together. I mean, they're really close friends. They've known each other since they were children. I mean, they're really, really close. And they take care of each other. But would I consider them as a ship? No, not really. I mean, sure, Sally and Bunny, they're somewhat like sisters. They're somewhat like sisters, in a way. I mean, they, I mean, they understand each other, they take care of each other, they look out for each other, they have each other's backs and stuff, but would I see them as a couple? I don't think so, even though they do actually do get along pretty well together, but I really, really don't see them as a couple. I mean, come on, guys. Really? Really? For those of the people who do ship them, hey, good for you, but I'm just saying I'm not into lesbian ships. I mean, I mean, if you guys are into that, good for you, but as for me, no. No, I don't see that, no. But, like I said, Sally and Bunny, they are really good friends, but I really don't see them as a couple. I really don't. I mean, sure people seem to, I'm sure people seem to think that they would work out as a couple, because how well they interact with each other, and most of the times, people always see them mainly together, but I highly doubt that they would like each other romantically. I highly doubt that. Okay, well, anyway, moving on to the next Sally ship, and that would be Sally X Nicole. Sally X Nicole, the Hollow Lynx. Really, people? Another lesbian ship? Okay, look, I know that, okay, I get it, people. I know that people seem to think that Nicole and Sally would make a cute couple because, think about it, Sa I mean, think about it. Even though Nicole is a computer, she's been with Sally's family for years. She's been with Sally's family for years. And even though it did take her a long while to finally get this hollow Lynx um, form, because most of the time she was um, a computer. She was a computer back in the day. But now that she figured out she has this hollow Lynx form, um, she's actually more interactive with people. But, what, but, would I see Sally and Nicole as a ship? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I mean, sure, Sally and Nicole, they do get along pretty well. They understand each other. And Nicole, she is starting to develop feelings and stuff. But there is one other thing, guys, you're forgetting. Nicole is a computer. Nicole is a computer system. An AI of which you, which we call, which you would call it. And Sally, she's flesh and bones. So, basically, I wouldn't exactly see that. I mean, guys, think about it like this. That's like putting Metal Sonic with Amy. 
How the world is that even going to work? How is that going to work, people? How is that going to work? But, but, it is, but I do have to admit, they are really cute together as, you know, sisters and all sorts of other things like mentor and teacher. I mean, student and teacher, um, sisters, I mean, don't get me wrong. They do look kind of cute together. But do I support the ship? No, I don't. Sorry, people. I really don't support the ship. I mean, for those of you guys who do support it, good for you, but nah. Okay, next Sally ship is... Sally and Tails. Okay, now... This one really just doesn't make any sense. Like, I done my... Like, I watched the Satayam TV show of Sonic the Hedgehog. I read the comics and everything. But, here's the thing, guys. Sally and Tails... They just won't work out. They just won't work out. Reason why is because of one thing. Tails is way too young for Sally. I mean, Sally, she's like, what, 18? And Tails was like, what, 12? So, guys, come on, really? And plus, not to mention, uh, Tails sometimes calls Sally Aunt Sally and all that other stuff. But, come on, guys. Do you really think that... I mean, guys, think about it. Really think about it. Would Tails really date his aunt? His, his um, his, um, aunt-ish kind of person? No. I honestly don't think that. Because think about it like this. Sally, she practically kind of raised Tails a little bit. She kind of raised Tails a little bit. Because when Tails was, like, really young, she kind of looked out for him. She looked out for him. She took good care of him alongside with Bunny and all sorts of other... And all sorts of the other Freedom Fighters. And sure, they... And, guys, don't take this into consideration, but even though that Sally and Tails have this thing called the funny kiss, that doesn't mean that they have a romantic connection with each other, okay? I mean, we all saw the funny kiss that they did. Like, it was like two kisses on each cheek and a kiss on the nose. Guys, come on. Just because that, guys, just because that happens, that doesn't mean that Tails and Sally would get together. I honestly don't see that. So, do I see them as a couple? No, I see them as good friends. I see them as good friends, but no, I really don't see them as a couple. And for those of you guys who do see them as a couple, good for you, but for me... No, I don't see that. I really don't see that. All right, so moving on to the next Sally ship, which is... Oh, God. I really don't like this one. Ugh, Sally X Monkey Con, or Kane, whichever one, I don't care. This one, I absolutely 100% despise. I despise this with a strong feeling. Reason why is because Monkey Kane probably, I mean, Monkey Kane practically stole Sally away from Sonic. He practically stole her away from him. Because if you guys see, because if you guys remember the, because uh, if you guys read the comics, they were traveling around Mobius to talk to the four brides. The four um, ninja brides or ninja clans, whichever one they were called. And along the way, Monkey Khan was steady complimenting Sally a little bit too much, calling her beautiful, telling her how well she's raising her kingdom and all sorts of other things. I mean, sure, Sonic barely does that to her. Sure, Sonic, he barely does that to her. But, but I gotta say, Sonic respects Sally more than Monkey Kane does. I mean, sure, Monkey Khan is a king and everything, but would I, but... Do I see them as a couple? No. I mean, sure, sure, Monkey Con, he is the father of my good friend Maya Acorn and everything, which is Sally's daughter, but I don't see them as a couple. I strongly disagree with this. 100% plus one. You guys do the math. But anyway, no, I don't support this ship. I absolutely despise it. Monkey Con can go rot in a hole for all I care. Ugh, sorry. Sorry, I just had a lot of angered and bottled up emotions right there. But anyway, back to this. Do I support this? No, I absolutely don't. 
I absolutely do not support Monkey Kane and Sally together. I really don't. I really don't. And for those of you guys are the people who do support this, good for you. But for me, no. I really don't. I despise it! Okay, sorry, sorry. That was the last one. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Anyway, moving on to the next Sally ship before I really lose my mind if I see this picture again. Okay, I just saw it again. I better hurry. Ugh. Okay, so Sally X Fiona. Now, everybody seems to ship Sa now everybody seems to ship Sally and Fiona a lot because sure they did kind of have a dispute in the comics. They had a they had like some type of rivalry and dispute because think about it, um they were mainly fighting over Sonic and plus not to mention Sally and Fiona, they did have a great friendship. I mean, when Sally, I mean, when Fiona was, you know, good and everything, but when she turned evil, that friendship soon broke after when Sally heard that Fiona betrayed the Freedom Fighters. All for what? Just to be with Scourge? I mean, come on. To me, with me, I honestly thought they would, they are really, really good friends. They were really, really good friends. But if you ask me, do they, would they look good as a couple? I honestly don't think so. I honestly do not think so. I mean, for those of the people who do ship them, good for you, but I don't support that ship. I really don't support it. So, sorry people, for those of you guys who do support it, I don't support it, so... Yeah, I am sorry people. Anyway... Moving on to the next one. Yes, this one, yeah, this one was really, really short. Okay, but anyway, moving on to the next one. Sally and Scourge? No, absolutely not. Scourge is disgusting. He really, really doesn't know how to respect women. He really doesn't know how to respect girls. And plus, Sally, she's all about respect. She's all about respect. And I know people, I know that I said that I support Sun Alley and all that other stuff, but do I support this version of Sun Alley? Aw, oh, heck no, I don't. I mean, like I said before, Scourge, he's absolutely disgusting. He's disgusting, he's disrespectful towards girls, and I just hate, I just hate it. I absolutely hate it. So this ship, absolutely not. Absolutely not. I do not support this ship. I am sorry. I don't support this. For those of you guys who do, good for you. But I don't do... I don't support this. Okay. Anyway, moving on to the last um, Sally ship for this video, everybody. I'm pretty sure you guys all know which ship this is. Yep, you guys guessed it. It is... Sally X Antoine. <laughs> now, for those of you guys who haven't seen the Satayam um, Sonic the Hedgehog series, throughout that whole series, Antoine, he kind of had a crush. He kind of had a crush on Sally. But here's the thing. He was steady getting outstaged by Sonic. He was steady getting outstaged by him. And of course, Antoine was really jealous Antoine was really jealous of Sonic. He's always calling him a fool or a fuel or all that other stuff. And he's just pretty much jealous of, you know, Sonic, you know, always taking the spotlight, stepping into battle and all sorts of other things. And, well, he's pretty much... So Antoine, he pretty much thinks that Sonic was no good for Sally. He thought he he thought that Sonic was no good for Sally and that he should step in. And that he should step in. So honestly, I don't think so um but Antoine um if I were you, I would chill out. I mean, come on. The last thing you want to do is just split up a happy couple like Sally and Sonic was back in the day. Although you're trying to split me Although you're trying to split me and uh, Sarah up. I mean, I understand that you don't support me and Sarah's marriage and everything. But, yeah. 
Ugh. Okay, um, well, I know I said this was gonna be the last one, but I want to talk about my ship with Sally real quick. I want to talk about my ship real quick, even though I don't have a picture here. I'm sorry, I don't have it, but I want to talk about it. So there's me and Sally. Well, I do understand why people seem to ship us together. Well, I support us. I support me and Sally. I support us. I mean, we get along pretty well. I mean, we do get along pretty well. We're great together. It's pretty interesting. But... But there was one little, um, problem, though. There was one little problem, though. We both had to go our separate ways. We both had to go our separate ways. Oh, well. I mean, it was a great ship while it lasted. We both were really, really in love. But then, things just didn't work out. And then we just drifted apart. We just drifted apart. So... Sally, if you're listening, I really did appreciate the stuff that we did together, but it's time to move on. It's time to move on. And plus, not to mention, if I could, I would take you back. I would add you to a harem that I, that I was trying to start, but no, because Sarah obviously isn't into that harem stuff because she doesn't believe in sharing. But what I believe in is people should just be happy. But, Sally, here's the question. Were you happy with me? Or were you happy with... Or were you happy with Monkey Khan? Because I'm pretty sure that you were happy for the moment. Until he, you know, decided to not include himself in your relationship. So, yeah. Okay, I'm sorry, guys. I started rambling on about Monkey Khan again. I just hate him so much. I hate him. <sighs> anyway... With that being said, guys, we reached the end of yet another installment of Flames Sonic Shipping Discussion. Flames Sonic Ship Discussions. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Now, as I said in the beginning, let me know in the comments down below which one of these Sally ships do you support. Now, guys, throughout all of these ships, I'm going to have to say I support Sun Alley the most. I support Sun Alley the most. And the one that I absolutely hate. Well, I'm pretty sure you guys can figure out which one do I hate the most. I'm pretty sure you guys can actually figure out which one do I absolutely despise. But anyway, yeah, we look, yeah. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and comment down below. And also, let me know in the comment section, um, which Sonic character do you guys want me to do a discussion of next? And also, one other thing, guys, be sure to keep an eye out for a special video later on that I will be doing with Sally. I mean, I'm pretty sure that she's still a little bit upset about this whole Charlene being pregnant and all this other stuff. So, to make it up to her, I'm going to be taking her out to lunch, and you guys are going to be seeing her, me do that. I don't know if I am. I don't know. But anyway, as I said before... Anyway, as I said before, guys, be sure to keep an eye out for that video later on. And if you guys aren't already subscribed to my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. So that way you guys will be up to date whenever I post. Oh, and one more thing. Well, actually, two more things. Um, after that Sally and me having lunch video, I'm going to be making another video where we'll finally resolve this whole Charlene is pregnant with my child thing and not to mention be sure to keep an eye out for when queen alexis tells me and this special guest who is going to be next in on anti-mobius and who's going to be and who am i going to go get next and i know that and guys i know i said that today i know that i said on fridays i'm going to be playing friday night funkin for you guys but here's the thing guys my thumbs are absolutely tired, and they hurt really, really badly. So, no Friday Night Funkin' today. Sorry, guys. So, yeah. Anyway, anyway, this is Flame the Dragon Hog signing out for now. Later, flamethrowers. I hate you, Monkey Kane.